Bastion Online Theory, where I dissect game mechanics to enhance your gameplay. On today's episode, we're diving into the intricate workings of protective shields, or bubbles as people call them. First, let's cover the basics. Protective bubbles play out differently across various scenarios, and there's a lot to unpack. In most situations, the mechanics remain consistent. Upon zoning through, a bubble is granted, offering you up to 30 seconds of protection. Alongside this bubble, you also get a debuff, preventing you from receiving a new bubble after losing your current one. And this debuff will last a full minute. I say that the bubble, in most cases, lasts for up to 30 seconds. This is because you can also lose your bubble based on proximity. So if you travel far enough away from where you zone through, you will lose the bubble prematurely. This depends on your movement speed, but it happens after approximately 10 to 14 seconds, if you travel somewhat straight. Check this for a comparison. I lose the bubble at the same spot in all these examples. But for solo, group, Avalonian and static dungeons, this is not the case. When entering either one of these, the bubble duration is halved, capping at 15 seconds. And here's the twist. This shortened duration only applies upon entering any of these dungeons. Exiting any of these dungeons restores the usual 30 second bubble. But that's not all. The exit dungeon bubble comes with a catch. Its protective range is narrower than most other 30 second bubbles, vanishing if you wander about two screens away, as shown in this clip. So, this is something to put in your arsenal. If you see someone exit a dungeon, you now know that their bubble will pop soon. So catch them, like I did here. And here's another thing you can do in statics. Many have learned, painfully, that your bubble will pop if you wander too far from the entrance. However, if you had just ate out and got the exit bubble instead, you can re-enter the static as soon as possible and get a bubble that will not pop so close to the exit. So imagine you're doing a static with your friends and you notice a blob on the entrance you entered from. You now have the option to A out and then instantly re-enter. Now you have time to position yourself in any way you see fit before engaging in combat, as opposed to being forced to stand still on the entrance. This is a clip of me re-entering a static at the same time as another one enters it. You can clearly see the difference in our bubbles. It's also worth noting that bubble does not make you immune to dots. So if you dot up someone with a bubble, the damage will start ticking as soon as the bubble pops. Also remember, when you run so far that your bubble pops in the open world, you will also lose the debuff that prevents you from getting a new bubble. This is however not the case in static and dungeons. So stay safe, use bubbles, like, subscribe, and class dismissed!